Hey, my name is Happy. I help candidates in .NET interview preparation. After watching this video, you will be able to answer this question in any interview. If you want to cover all the .NET interview questions, then please click on like and subscribe buttons so that you cannot miss any important interview question. So let's start with this question. What is the difference between a stored procedure and function? At least three. This is a very very important question in SQL. Make sure that you can memorize at least three of them. So let's start. See, this is the basic stored procedure. And here is a user defined function. So when we say user defined function, basically when we say function, it can be of two types, user defined function and system defined function. Normally we refer the functions with the user defined function only because system defined function are the function used by SQL server and that is not accessible to you or a developer. So better is we uh, use the term user defined function. Now see the differences. First difference is SP may or may not return a value but function must return a value. So if you can see here this will always return a value and this stored procedure may or may not return this output so this is the first difference second difference is sp can have input and output parameters but function can have only input parameters so <coughs> you might be aware that stored procedure can have both input and output parameters but uh, output parameters are not possible in function only input parameters will are there in function next difference is we can call function is inside sp but we cannot call sp from a function so if you can write a query here and you can write like select function from so this is possible inside the stored procedure you can write this here but inside the function name you cannot write like a uh, call sp here so that is not possible this is the one difference next difference is we cannot use sp in sql statement like as uh, select insert update delete merge extra but we can use them with function here is the example this fn country is a function and see how we have written it inside an inline query but you cannot replace this fn country with any stored procedure that is not possible and that is the reason why we use functions sometimes because they can be used in the inline queries another difference is we can use try cache at exception handling in stored procedures but we cannot use Try cache in functions. One more difference is we can use transactions. If you are aware about transactions, that is good. That we can ins use inside the stored procedure, but that not possible inside the functions. Why I am telling this six differences? Because I want you to remember at least three to four of them. Because this is a very good uh, important question, and for important questions. Uh, there is a chance for you to create an impression on interviewer by telling them as much as you can. So that's why I am sharing the six differences here.